Hello everybody and welcome to Dan Selma's Tech and I hope you're doing well and today we're going to be checking out this from Focusrite. This is the Scarlett Solo. Now this is a USB audio interface that's used for musical instruments and XLR microphones along with headphones and speakers. What we're going to do is unbox this and then show you how to set it up. Now with some of these purchases you will get additional software included and obviously we will go through that as well in a later video. But first of all let's unbox it, see what the product is like, set it up and then we'll go from there. So upon opening up the box, and this is what you're greeted with. Now on the lid, it shows you your Scarlett Solo and that's connection to a Mac and a PC, which I will show you how to set this up in this video as well. But moving on down and here is your USB cable. Now it is a USB type two to USB type C connection. And that's all you're really gonna need for this. It doesn't need to be USB type three. So that's absolutely fine. And then moving on to the Scarlett Audio itself. Now getting it out the bag, and this is what you're greeted with. Uh, quite a nice bold reddish colour with a bit of sparkle in it. Um, but on the back first, you've got your K-Lock, you've got your Type-C connection, and you've got right and left uh, line outputs. Now these are going to be for speakers, and I believe they're three and a quarter inch jacks as well. Moving on over, you've got your XLR input for a microphone. It's got its own gain over here. And you've also got the 48 volt phantom power, and you've got air. Now air is going to apparently open up the sound and emphasise it and make it a bit more out there um, but obviously we'll get around to that and it all illuminates as well moving on over and you've got a trs connection which is a line input um, but you can also turn it into an instrument input which again lights up for either a guitar um, or a synth something like that and again its own volume control here moving on over and you've got the power light here to show you that the scarlet audio is connected to usb and it is all powered on and working and you've got a direct monitor for the quarter inch jack here for your headphones and that is also going to do the speakers on the back as well with its own monitor gain here as well. So what we're going to do is get this hooked up and then see what it's actually like and if it's easy to set up. Now we'll do a future video on this as well to bring you an update on it with a lot more info on the products that come with this. Um, there are headphones and there are also speakers and other bits and pieces. Microphones, I will put those in the link down below if you want to check it out, but that is a lot more money than this kit at the moment. But yeah, let's get it set up and then let's see what the Scarlet Solo is actually like when testing. So getting started with a Scarlett Solo couldn't be much easier. Go to my PC and find Scarlett Solo, double click that, click here to get started and it will launch up the web browser. Let's get you started and then run through all the options on here. Now you're going to have to register your account with Scarlett Solo so obviously go for all that and I will speed this up until a bit later on. Once registration is completed, go ahead and click download. Now, once you've downloaded and extracted the Focusrite software onto your computer, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open it up. Now you can use the analog, which is the 48 volt phantom power and the air mode, which you can toggle on and off, or even the instrument mode within the software as well. Once you've finished downloading the software, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click yes, restart the computer now. So after your PC has restarted, you wanna go to get started on the Focusrite website. Your account creation and essential software has already been done. You want to go through the next steps of recording a software and installation, using Scarlett and then next steps. This is where you can choose any one of the programs that came with your Scarlett Audio interface. So setting up the Focusrite Scarlett Solo was actually really easy and took me about five minutes. As you could see there was four options to choose from and I went with Pro Tools first. Now for anything like if you're on Discord or gaming then this product is going to be a bit overkill. But if you're doing podcasts, interviews, voiceovers, any sort of promotion work or advertising work, then this is an absolutely brilliant product, especially when you're using air mode. Now, everything I recorded once the video started rolling, obviously setting this up, was with the 48 volt phantom power on, 
and air mode enabled, which actually enhances the sound and gives it a bit more of a softer touch. But yeah, overall, a great product. Now, at the time of filming, the Focusrite Scarlet Solo comes in at around about £94.99. Now, there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below, and it's not going to cost you guys anything extra. Just gives me a bit of a kickback. It means I can bring you more reviews like this, headphones, microphones, or anything else that you wish to check out on the channel. But yeah, overall, I'm going to be using this as my daily driver. It's really easy to set up and actually fits really nicely underneath the monitors. So this is actually the cheapest one out of all the Focusrite products that they do. And if you want to check anything else out, there will be links in the description down below. Like I said, for a package with this, it's just over £200 and it comes with the microphone and the headphones as well. I will buy those and bring those to you in a later product review. But yeah, overall, really, really great product and I loved every minute using this and will be using it going forward. So if you did enjoy today's video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or questions, please leave those in the comment section down below and go ahead and share this video. It really does help out the channel. And underneath the video, there's a red bar that says subscribe. Go ahead and click that and smash the bell icon for more notifications from myself. And like always, I shall see you in the next video.